The small town of Southern Pines is brimming with cheer. Those warm fuzzy fuzzies felt this time of year. Down Broad Street, the sidewalks are so fully dressed. Shopkeepers compete for whose tree is best. This one is Chef Warren Lewis's design, the leaning tree with odd green man behind. We had the Grinch holding the tree. We had little Cindy Lou Who and Max in the set up top. Dressed in bright red as Santa or elf, one night the Grinch who stole Christmas went missing himself. Lewis quickly knew that something was wrong. We came in that morning and the Grinch was gone. The boys who stole the Grinch didn't count on the Lomax. He's the guy who owns the store next door. While they were down here messing around, he was up there looking down. There was always a C&I watching you. My mom had always told me that. Every moment a camera watches where they're at. They come at first to case out the place. They return, grab the Grinch, and off they did race. You would think to yourself, more often than not, the chef without a Grinch would be piping hot. It was hilarious because they were just so busted. Chef Warren put that video on YouTube to view. More than 1,500 took a look. You could call that a few. A couple of those were not overjoyed. They were the parents of those two boys. They returned the Grinch right where they found it. He told me he'd been punished and he'd been grounded. The shop owners did not press charges. In the end, they were more amused. In Southern Pines, Adam Owens, WRAL News.